Hello guys, let's talk about Arena today. There is a really popular misunderstanding that how to win in Arena is just like getting two kills and then playing passively, right? Uh, but this is not how you win in Arena be because there are two important anti-snowball mechanics, right? First one, you can counter over passive players by uh, freezing the lane, right? By minion management. And second tactic is last 10 tickets. Last 10 tickets only a big minion count as one. So you need 10 waves to actually finish the game. So even if you held the lead, you can always lose the game at the end because the tickets, if the enemy has 50 tickets and you have 10 tickets, when your uh, tickets naturally go to 5 tickets, for example, without any kills that count as 5, the difference will close very, very soonly, right? And this is what people don't understand. Arena can be way more complex than most people think. This is why comeback is always possible in Arena. And this is why people love Arena, because it motivates you to play better, to improve uh, counter building, uh, resetting fights, uh, team fights. Arena is so fun. We also have the importance of counter building, how important it is to actually reset fights often, not over pushing and um, pushing back when the enemy pushes you so you always have this uh, battle of the line you always have these team fights going on and you know sometimes you have to focus the minions sometimes you have to focus on team fights uh, sometimes you have to counter build when you get focused by the enemy warrior um, for example if your team has 10 tickets and the enemy team has 50 tickets when your tickets reach 5 the enemy tickets will also reach 10 you know because uh, proper uh, proper siege tower push if you stand beside the tower you can actually push push the siege tower even through enemy minions and gods which most people don't know actually uh, <coughs> even though these days it's really annoying because they removed a lot of good counter items like I made support in Smite Arena for years, you know, and items like Runic Shield or Witchblade were so important, you know, you were always checking, you know, how many physical gods, how many magical gods do they have, if they have three physical gods, you buy Sovereignty, you buy, you buy Witchblade, if they have three magical gods, you know, most Arena teams actually have double mage and a guardian composition, so Runic Shield on a warrior was actually a really good counter item. And that's why supporting is not fun anymore. Like yes, you still have Winged Blade, which is better than ever. Uh, you have Shogun Kuzari, you have uh, Spectral Armor against Crits. Uh, Shogun is still the best tower in the game, even though uh, they still don't buy it in Conquest. Uh, like Shogun Kuzari is the best tower in Conquest. It allows you to clear objectives faster. It allows you to animation uh, cancel faster. Um, cooldown is also very important. Um, Usually you go, you know, if you play carry, you play mage, uh, usually you just go like damage items like usual, you know, people are so used to snowball in conquest that they rarely counter build. Counter building is actually very rare in conquest because if you counter build in conquest, you have more chances to fall behind. But counter building is actually very important, especially if you play a carry and you go for example double flat pin item in early game, you have a lot of damage, uh, the enemy start to focus you and this is the time to buy for example Valor or Winged Blade to counter this enemy pressure, uh, so you, you buy more time for your team, uh, uh, more time you know, and you can survive longer, you can do more damage in the long run. Um, Winged Blade, for example, that gives you HP and Anta Slow, or Valor that gives you physical protection and cooldown, were always really, really good in Arena. <coughs> Aggressive playstyle allows you to juke enemy abilities, to bait out enemy abilities and apply pressure. And this is, these are actually all important factors that most people don't even consider, right? Most conquest games, it's more about levels, right? If you have a le one to level advantage, you can just hold the wiki down and do whatever you want, right? But no, in Arena, <coughs> where numbers cannot carry you, it's way different meta, it's way different story. Uh, you actually have to counter build, which most conquest players don't even understand what that means, you know, but hey. Uh, welcome to Harris Balance and Gladiator Shield, I guess. It, you know, just like, it pisses me a little off, you know, because there are always these people who talk down on Arena, they look down on Arena players, but they don't actually understand Arena themselves. They have no idea, they, all they think about Arena is, you know, it's just game mode for casuals, you know, they uh, press the W key and they, you know, 
But Arena is so much more deep. Like some people, some players take Arena more seriously than anybody. And only reason why Arena uh, has no has no rank leaderboard and reward is because Harris, because Harris in that will somehow divide the player base. Right? In reality, it will bring countless more players in. And it, the fact that you know Arena, you know Arena was always competitive game mode. Like every game mode is competitive. You just want it to be. Uh, but because we don't have rank leaderboard and rewards, you know, people don't take it that seriously, right? It's all Harris' fault at the end of the day. Uh, but, you know, each game mode has, it, has, has its own rules. Uh, you have to adopt. Uh, you, if you consider yourself to be a good smart player, you have to be good in all game modes. <coughs> and Arena is also a very opposite of Conquest. Like, Conquest is all about rotation, fighting for resources, right? Good calls, uh, good towers, uh, you know, good clear pressure. Arena is about resetting fights often, it's about counter building, it's about medium management, pro proper siege tower push, um, um, understanding the anti-snowball mechanics of Arena, understanding when to push, when to, you know, um, and Arena has so much more depth than people uh, give it credit for, you know, especially if you understand all these secret rules, like, for example, if you have 50 tickets, an enemy has 10 tickets, you can always come back, because enemy will now need uh, 10 minutes or 5 minutes to lose the, their, te their uh, 10 tickets, but you will need only like uh, 3 minutes to lose like 30 tickets, right? Because uh, remember, last 10 tickets only big minion counts, so you need 10 waves or you need 2 kills to finish the games, right? But only for one side, for the side that has 10 tickets, if you still have 50 tickets, you will lose tickets naturally way faster. And even without rank leaderboard, Kairos has been forcing players into conquest for years. If you if you actually wanna be ranked in Smite, right? But even without rank functionality, Arena is still most popular game mode in Smite. Imagine how popular Arena would be if they would actually have rank leaderboard and rewards, something that players have been asking for like last seven years, right? And I'm not saying that Arena is more competitive than Conquest, but I'm just saying that Arena can be competitive too, you know? It is always those Conquest players that barely understand Arena, talk shit about Arena players. We have been working on ourselves for years to be the best in Arena, right? In all game modes actually, right? But we fight, we, I fight for Arena fans because they have been left behind. Because we love this game so much, we are so good at it, but we don't even have a chance to show it. it. People have no idea how frustrating that is, when you love something so much, but you cannot even show it. Because we don't have a simple ranked leaderboard and reward because Harris is clearly incompetent, right? Because they don't see the potential. Most MOBA studios, they only care about Dota or Conquest players. So Arena is a big open niche. If Harris would make a new Arena, uh, Gladiator Arena map, add in ranked leaderboard and rewards, literally Smite could be two times more popular. And they also have to add like old fun game modes back into the match of the day rotation, like Domination, uh, Smite card, uh, Adventures. They can, we can all, we, we could have one, one thing each weekend, right? That would bring, bring back so much more players. But Harris clearly has no idea how to manage their game, so this is how it is, right? Apparently they would rather see their game die than uh, uh, give players what they have been asking for last seven years, so what can you do? I hope I see you in the battlefield, okay? Um, if you have anything uh, uh, to discuss, yeah, there is also read this article that talks about the complexity of Arena. <coughs> uh, Puff Minions, a general guide to Arena, a very, like, s almost 10 year old guide at this point. But it really, uh, really teaches you so much how complex actually Arena is. And anybody that wants to take Arena seriously needs to understand this, right? The anti-snowball mechanics, the importance of resetting fights, the counter building, right? If you play mage, if you play um, carry, if you have a lot of damage, if you get focus, boot that winged blade, boot that valor. Um, if you play warrior, you have to apply pressure to enemy mages, casters, so they don't just counter build. Uh, carries, uh, if you play against good warrior, uh, your carries will start to blame, so they need to counter build, you know. People, people will rather blame in this game their teammates than actually counter build. And then they will blame their support, right? It's support and warrior have to apply pressure. You cannot just babysit your carry. I have my own job to do, right? 
but people don't understand that. I mean, if you have a warrior and a guardian, I guess a guardian can play more passively. Um, but you always need somebody to engage. If you don't have somebody to engage, to apply pressure, enemy will just simply free cast on your team and you will lose eventually. So, you know. <coughs> but there are only things you can learn by experience, right? So, uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, I hope I see you in the next one. So, peace. might battleground of the gods there is so much anti potential when it comes to smite and one of those things is arena arena could be easily the most popular game mode in smite if we actually have rank functionality rank leaderboard and rewards and this is something that players have been asking for like last seven years right comeback is always possible people don't realize how fun arena can actually be arena is all about counter building and a will to come back when you get pushed in arena when you lose when you are losing in arena this is actually the best time to push back because enemy is overstanding and this is the best time you can push back we call it dancing on the battle line right and a good arena players will always will always have balance you know they don't over push and they push back when the opportunity arises seven years ago we actually already had a ranked arena but Harris removed it and it has nothing to do with the game mode itself or how competitive people think it is but it's more the fact that you know Harris still has this outdated mentality that this would somehow divide the players not actually you know attract count attract countless more players into the game so today I want to make a guide about Arena. I think Arena is so underappreciated. Most people think it's only, you know, game mode for knobs when you learn the ropes for the game and then transition to conquest, right? But I think a good smite player is good in all game modes and Arena and conquest are total are very different game modes and if you consider yourself to be a good smite player, you need to be good in both. Now conquest is more about uh, snowballing, uh, fighting for resources, um, rotations, uh, warding and so on and so on. And arena is more about counter building and resetting fights often and uh, actually combining positives of aggressive and defensive playstyles at once. So today I also want to share some of the secrets of arena. Did you guys know that if you stand beside the siege tower you can not only push the tower through enemy minions, but even through enemy gods, right? So when you have the po when you have the tower, try to stand ne next beside it. So in order to stop the, the tower, you actually have to stop the players, right? Uh, minions, minions play a huge role in arena, probably even more than in conquest. Last hitting is so important and denying enemy last hits is so important for the tickets management. Most people think that arena, you know, it's like you get few kills and then you just clear minions. No, this is not how you win arena. You can easily counter these tactics just by minion management alone. And there are also other things like how important is aggressive playstyle. With aggressive playstyle, you you bait out enemy abilities, you bait out enemy cooldowns, you juke enemy people. But in order to juke, you need to counter build, you need to get anti slow. Like Valor on Mages, uh, Winged Blade and Sprint Relics that gives you slow immunity. This is very important, especially in Conquest. Like slow immunity is so important. If you are slowed, you cannot juke, right? And that's why Winged Blade or Sprint Relics are so important on supports or even on. These days, you know, now that Winged Blade at, um, affect everybody, you can buy Winged Blade on carry or on a support, and it's still a very good item, because if you are slowed, you cannot juke. And if you wanna have consistency, you get Winged Blade and you get Sprint Relics, you know? Hello, guys. First off, excuse me because I'm a little sick, but I really wanted to make a guide for Arena. Arena is probably one of the most underrated game modes in Smite. And Arena would probably be the most popular game mode 
In Smite, if he only had some rank functionality, rank leaderboard and rewards for it. I have been playing Smite for 10 years and I got diamond in Conquest, Joust and Arena. So I hope I can share some tips with you today. So I'm sorry, I'm very tired. Um, I have been playing Smite for 10 years and I got diamond in Joust, Conquest and Arena. So hopefully today I can share uh, with you some tips about the Arena. Um, I feel like there is not much uh, Arena content out there. So let's go. And I'm really saddened by the fact they removed Witchblade or items like Boomba Mask because these items really allowed for fun juking. There was a secret tactic that no, not many people know about and it was actually Wingerblade plus Witchblade combo that allowed you to juke anyone. Wingerblade gives you a uh, sprint every time you get slowed, uh, so you, you know, every, most gods engage with slow, especially some junglers like Seth, Arachne, um, Old Poseidon. Uh, Ra, all these gods engage with slow and if you counter this uh, slow, you can literally juke their whole kids. Um, I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> um, there was a really old arena. Yeah, 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 look, I found it, I found it. Look, this guide is at this point. People, you know, Smite is actually more than 10 years old at this, this point. Um, yeah, official release of Smite was I think 2013 or 14, but beta was actually 20, 2012, you know, 2012, yes, which is like 11 years almost now, right? And this guide is uh, 9 years old. But this guide is really good introduction on how complex actually minions are in Arena, right? So let's go through this. Um, each each side start with 500 tickets. Killing enemy player deduct 5 tickets from the enemy tickets. Now I also want to mention that Arena has a few anti-snowball mechanics. Not only we have a higher gold and experience scaling, but also last 5, uh, I think 15 tickets um, only... Uh, so let's see, yeah. Um, Now, last 15 tickets, you know, only... Now, there are two anti-snowball mechanics. Now, first one is gold, gold spoiling, and second one is that last 15 tickets, only big minion count as one. So, you need like 15 waves to finish the game, right? Or three kills, right? And this is very important. This is anti-snowball mechanics. That's why Arena is so fun. The so let's go, uh, killing an enemy player deduce 5 tickets from the enemy oh, score, uh, killing an enemy minion deduct 1 ticket from the enemy. So the wave has like what, uh, 7 minions um, from enemy ticket. Uh, Uh, when when a team tickets are reduced to 10, the six smaller minions will lo 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 no longer deduct points by being killed. And a large minion will count as one point. I mean, th this, this article is really good showcase how complex actually Arena is, you know. Most people never took Arena seriously. And it's it is actually very hard to take it seriously, and that 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 is just because Harris never give that ranked leaderboard and rewards. It all the smart problems are li literally just because Harris itself, because they have no idea how to manage the community. Only reason why people think Arena is less competitive than any other game mode is because Harris never give us ranked leaderboard and rewards. So every new players automatically think that the conquest who has ranked mode is more competitive, right? They're literally forcing smart players who wanna be competitive to play conquest. If they ever wanna be ranked in, in a MOBA, you know, imagine be, wanna be ranked, you know? Like, who doesn't? Like, everybody wants to win. Nobody likes to lose, right? And I'm a bit tired right now. It's very hard for me to go di into this uh, detail, so I'm just gonna, like, uh, talk freely to you. 
I'm a firm believer that it is very important to have one plan together, even if it's not necessarily the best plan, right? And Smite or any game, any multiplayer game is a team game at heart. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it comes down to individual performance. So, and Smite Arena is all about counter building and knowing what your job in a team fight is. For example, if you play a warrior, you have to apply pressure to enemy casters and hunters, so they don't just free cast whole game long. And this is one of the main issues which I hate about current Smite. Like they removed so many good counter items, like Runic Shield was great on warriors to counter three magical teams. You know, most arena teams have three magical gods, like Double Mage and Guardian composition. Will most on quest games usually have to three or four physical gods. So in conquest like Witchblade, Void Shield were so were Jimmy were always very good. And show on Kuzari, you know, no, that attack speed allows you to even animation cancel faster, not just clear objectives faster. And there are so many important lessons you can learn by, but a lot of these lessons comes from experiences, right? And sometimes what you have to do for the team won't necessarily be like something you will be appreciated for. A lot of the times when I was playing support, I usually got blamed, you know, and you can only help your team so much, but if they don't help themselves, if they don't counter build against enemy warrior, uh, if they just go six damage items, yeah, there is not much you can do about it. I have my own job to do in a team fight, and I cannot do your job for you, and I think it's very important to know what your job is in a team fight, and when it's necessary to counter build, for example. And how important is to reset fights often? How important is counter building? Um, good calls is also very important. If you have a guy who know how to have good calls, like the game can be so much different, right? And there are so many important lessons we can learn, right? And I have been learning smites for so much. I have been fighting for arena fans for so long and I love this game so much, even though we don't have rank leaderboard after so many years, I still love this game, right? This game could be so much bigger if Harris would actually know how to properly manage their games, how to manage their communities. They're too busy, like all they are doing these days is make new over expensive skins or make questionable balance so they have something to do, to do over the year, right? But they're not fixing the core issues this game has, they're not bringing old fun game modes back in for weekends, they're not... Uh, have, we don't we still don't have rank functionality for arena uh, not enough initiative to actually play the game right achievement points rewards commendation rewards uh, mini chest rewards and so on and so on all Harris has to do you know it now is the best opportunity to actually make a new season you know Harris, all Harris needs to do is to make a new gladiator style arena, that would be so cool. And they just need to add, you know, ranked leaderboard and some rewards, so people have something to play and look forward to, right? And this is all they have to do, and this will attract countless more players to the game, and... This is uh, one of the most untapped potential, one of the most hidden potential of this game. And I think uh, Harris really need to watch the King's Avatar animation because most MOBA studios, they only care about Conquest and Dota players. And there is a huge open niche for arena style players because we don't really have a good arena style games anymore. And most MOBA studios, the MOBA market is so dead right now. If Harris makes this and add, you know, old fun game modes back into the match of the day rotation for weekends and fix the UI, add clan wars, might still have a chance to come back and they also need to make more uh, arena and conquest tournaments and make separate eu and north america tournaments and let few best teams play it out in atlanta so they get sponsors and viewers from both continents and light up that competitive spirit once more hello guys 
you know this is one of those things that really pisses me off people be calling them themselves a champion even though they know how much competition they have been lacking for years for example in smite community we, have, we barely have any euro players we barely have any international players any console players people literally getting handpicked same 15 players five years in a row and this guy is supposed to be a world champion, yet his build is totally outdated because they don't need to build git. And if you check the current support meta build is Watcher Gift for early sustain, then you go Stone of Binding for protections and good early pressure and clear. Then you go cooldown, you can go Valor, you can go Shogun, probably one of the best aura in the game. You never buy Hardward Amulet when you can buy Shogun Kuzari, which allows you to clear objectives faster. Winged Blade, Enter Slow, you have Spectral to counter the crit meta, man. They have three magicals, two mages, yeah, Loki, yeah. it's pretty hard to counter build, you know, they have two mages, they have Loki, you know. So you need, like, Witch Blade against Hunter, you need the Runic Shield against mages and what else these guys have a lot of stars you know <laughs> but it comes down to good support builds you know good auras like Shogun Kuzari, Witchblade can make so much of a difference the greater the difficulty the more glory in surmounting it I am Enyo this is one of the rarest skin in the game this is actually from Feast of the Gods a high res card game which doesn't even exist anymore it's on the level of you know beta yamir skin you know Koko Demon. it's like you know or maybe like derpoles or some christmas skins and such the greater the difficulty the more glory in surmounting it would be foolish enough to challenge you Retreat. Um, but it's very complex. Minions are actually very complex. So uh, I, I want to get this right. Okay. Um, if you, what you wanna do, is that your minions. Less, hit, less hitting is very important, okay? What you wanna make sure is that your minions don't less hit enemy minions and that enemy minions will less hit your minions, right? Is it like that? So, minion manipulation is very important, right? If you're just gonna play uh, passively, if you just think you can just clear, it's not possible because uh, enemy can just uh, lane freeze or they can just uh, harass your carry, right? And most conquest games, you know, they rely on snowballing so much that if you actually counter build in conquest, uh, you actually get punished. But arena is all about counter building. Items like Valor or Winged Blade are very important for carries, especially those carries that get focused by the enemy warrior. And this is the the this is, I think, what most people are missing these days, especially on warriors. They are, you know, they they abuse items like gladiator shield. They never buy flat pin items on warriors, right? Uh, they don't build. I think the current smite meta really is really not good for the new players because they are not li really learning how to build properly. Which stats do they need? But they are just buying, you know, stats with uh, items with too many stats. And if they build uh, badly, they can always add gladiator shield in, the and they will still have damage and mitigations and everything, right? You know, Harry should just make separate EU and North America tournaments and let two, let few best teams play it out in Atlanta for final rewards. And this is why we need Smite Olympians, right? They should organize a tournaments, arena, conquest tournaments and let best people play it out. This is what people wanna see. Nobody wanna see same 15 players literally getting handpicked and current uh, champions, ch current um, uh, literally champions I still haven't seen a good support built in all SPL games combined. There is a guy, um, you know, that is supposed to be a champion, but he doesn't even know the support meta built currently. Isn't that sad? Like, and this is why this game is dying. 
Harris is uh, instead of fixing the core issues this game has, they're trying to like uh, moderate communities too much. Uh, they're making new problems instead of fixing the old ones. All Harris has to do is you know make clan wars, add old fun game modes back into the match of the day rotation for weekends. Uh, they need to. Uh, add rank leaderboard and rewards for arena fans. They need to add more uh, initiative to actually play the game. Well, commendation rewards, um, achievement points rewards, uh, mini chest for wins, um, you know. And only way how you can actually make it as a smart content creator is that you get on SPL, which really sucks and people literally getting handpicked and it's just a huge business, right? Nobody wanna watch that, you know? And if they make separate EU and North America tournaments, they get rivalry, they get viewers and sponsorship from both continents, right? And I'm really sad, you know, they remove Witchblade, you know, uh, the juking, it's not fun. And some gods are really overpowered in arena currently. Like I think it would be better for Smite that they would actually balance around arena, not around the conquest snowballing. You know, people having level lead or they being behind in levels, and then they complain about god or item balance. Um, arena is more. I think they should balance around arena. It makes so much more sense. Uh, in arena, we actually count. We actually see counter building. Um, but you know, you have you, you have to have a caster that actually understand arena. You know, uh, you need to have, you need to make opportunities. You need to counter build. You need to understand the build, how they, how counter build. You know how, it, you know, like arena is so much more complex than most people think. And you know, but you know, so is conquest, right? Like I like, I like both. You know, um, but I'm just not happy how they treat arena fans. You know, like. We love this game so much, but we never have chances to prove ourselves. And I mean, it really sucks, you know, like I love this game so much, but I don't even have ranked leaderboard for it. Like, how can I, I then invest my time in this game if I know I will never be able to do anything with it? Um, and it sucks, you know, when good players play against newer players because we don't have ranked functionality. So it sucks for both, for me, because if I try too hard, the enemy will just quit the game. And if the enemy... In, in it also sucks for the enemy, right? Like, I don't know, how is it? Harris is making so much problems. Like, they're making so much problems because they don't, they, they don't know how to fix the core issues this game has, you know?